A horse is a horse, of course. It looks like someone's dentures were in here. Hey, I've got to put them somewhere. Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi yourself. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Never think of that. You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic. I'm just a horse. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. Well, I gotta go. See you later. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed. So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? I'm the delivery man, okay, if I unload in here. Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please go away. We artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. What kind of people? Big, dumb people. I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? No. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing, where you're from. Where exactly did you come from? The future. Kind of spooky sounding, ain't it? Ooh, the future. I'm from the future. Look out. Gosh, it would be so nice if you weren't here anymore. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. It's Ned or Jed's head. That's the left-handed one. Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do not perturb my model.
I wonder if there's anything to eat in it. These dudes might get mad. It must be Nads. Or is it Jads? Please give me back my hammer. guided my hand with such care. Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. Pretty pussy cat. Yipe. Cats dig these. Yipe. All right, paint. Very Spartan. Sounds like the cats caught a moose up there. It's one of those pulley things. It's too complicated for me. all sudsy now. Huh? 
How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. Dum-de-dum. Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Hey, Ben. Oh, it's you. Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. Looks better now. So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here! I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. Hey, Dr. Fred. We have to do something. What do you suggest, college boy? No diamond for the central unit, no power for the chronogons. A mutant monster of my own creation, roaming the countryside, taking over the world! It's a dark day for mad science. How about catching Purple Tentacle? He's long gone, probably taking over the world as we speak. Well, English, I guess. Why can't we just fix the time machine? It needs a whole new diamond. Now where am I going to get the money? I thought you were rich. Well, I didn't get all the money I expected from that TV show about us. We had to rent out our mansion as a hotel just to make ends meet. <sighs> if only I had signed that contract in time. What contract? Well, after that incident when I was possessed by a meteor from outer space, somebody decided to make a show about us, but they didn't pay us anything. All we got was a cut of the video game. Wow, that thing made millions. Yes, I forgot to sign the royalty contract in time, though. I still have it in my safe upstairs. Let's go get the contract out of the safe and sign it. I forgot the combination. But that's... that's so stupid, Dr. Fred. I know. It gives my enormous brain nightmares. Every night I dream about opening the safe, but I find something horrible inside and slam it shut. Over and over again, night after night. 
Is that why you drink so much coffee? I haven't slept in two years. How's the mad scientist biz? Not too lucrative lately. We're living mostly on the income from renting out our mansion. That and Edna's tips from her exotic dancing. You're going to get really chafed hands doing that. Sorry, coffee jitters. Maybe you should switch to decaf. No, then I'd fall asleep and the dreams would come. We have to do something. Yes, we have to get a new diamond. I guess I'll have to go save the world myself then. Good luck. I guess not too many birds bathe in the evening. He looks like a tall, mummified Dr. Fred. Hey, Ted. Talkative as ever, eh, Ted? Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. You know, I bet you'd really like my friend, Hoagie. He can pass out standing up and not drop anything. You haven't changed a whole lot. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world. It's empty. It's really dirty. It's not my car. I think it's locked. Someone wrote, wash me in the dust. Some people think that Washing one's vehicle will make it rain. Oh? Uh-huh. How about that? He looks like he's in a hurry. Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. What are you up to? I uh, locked my keys in the car. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. Nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. See you later. Yeah. What beautiful clear water. I'd like to, but there's no time. I'd like to, but there's no time. Keep out. Area contaminated with industrial waste.
I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. I hate that clown. Not with what's left of my fingernails. You looking at me? Are you looking at me? Then who are you looking at, huh? I asked you a question. Okay, clown, that does it. Hey, boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention. I tell you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time. So where is everybody? The really big bash was last night. I guess they're all sleeping it off. Oh, want a cigar? Sorry, my mom told me never to smoke. Hey, if I listened to my mom, I wouldn't be where I am today. Well, suit yourself, boy. I'm attracted, yet repulsed. Disgusting. I don't even want to touch that gunk. Looks like they all escaped. Hmm, air conditioning, I guess. Jumpy little sucker. Now just calm down for a second. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Has anyone ever told you you look like Dante Alighieri? That's strange. My wife says I look like Charles de Gaulle. Oh, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havanan babies on me. was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! You shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit. That cracks me up every time. It's covered with unrecognizable, useless junk. And a gun. It looks almost real. Hands off, boy! That's a precision-made novelty device. Hmm, brown water. I think I could lubricate my car with this stuff.
Actually, I'd call this more of a threak. The Duke Memorial Brand Microwave. It's a coin-operated clothes dryer. Who knows what surprises await inside? It's a fine funnel. It looks pretty broken. It's pretty darn cold. It's pretty darn cold. Hi there. Now there's a heavy sleeper. A him. Do you ever inhale flies when you snore like that? I'm trying to save the world from a nasty tentacle. Nice room you've got here. Where on earth do you buy furnishings this color? I had an uncle who snored as loud as you do. He lived in California until he was declared an earthquake hazard. Well, thanks. You've been really helpful. My grandma gave me one like this for my birthday. I can't pick it up. That guy is lying on it. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be $2 million. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. I'm sorry, the Credotron shows that account to be empty. Up too late? Try a fickle finger's fate. Stick in a dime and you'll have a good time. I can almost get it now, but Lardo is lying on the sleeve. Thermodynamic flux induction circuit design is perhaps the most fascinating branch of practical electrical theory. 
Well, it gets me up in the morning. There's a whole lot of keys on here. fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. I can't even do this right. I can't see it very well from here. I can't see it very well from here. My name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? Gee, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? The gun was a good tip-off. I'm having a crisis here. A warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me. I like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. Nice music they pipe in here, huh? It's from the Elevator Classics series. It seems like this one tune has been on all day. I've never been so depressed in my life. Maybe I can help cheer you up? Oh, I can hardly wait. Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. Nobody liked it. Ugh. Maybe some calisthenics would help. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. Ugh. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Would you say that existence constitutes purpose? Oh, who cares? Philosophers are all failures like me who couldn't make it in a real profession. Uh, never mind. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious.
designing a miniaturization ray? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. Wanna help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. Can you actually use that bowling ball? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged though because he doesn't have fingers. How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. Getting back out of it is hard. How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Carefully crafted melody and distinctive counterpoint? Volume, man, volume! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. We can generate a lot more sound that way. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations, but we have a huge following in the club scene. That's great. Yeah. Well, see you later, Green. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Uh-oh, this looks like it might work. I don't need to take over the world. It looks too heavy for me to pick up. Hoagie would really love these. Powerful looking speaker. It's too heavy. Mmm, plenty of wattage in this stereo. I can't wait to try my 8-tracks in it. There's no label, it's probably blank. Wow! This is loud! for me to pick up. Whew. Creepy. Must be an Edison. It looks awful heavy. It's signed, Edna, thanks for giving me the fever. It looks like a physics professor I knew in the second grade. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. 
think about it. Ooh, baby, what a man. You ain't kidding, precious. It's Dr. Fred's office. Nothing going on in there. Something strange is going on in there. I see a large pulsating lump with blue stripes on it. Get away from that! Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Hey, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? No, my name is Threepwood. Nice try, but I never forget a face. You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. Really? How nice! How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. How did he wreck the family finances? Well, he should have made millions on the computer game they made about us. But the resident genius locked the contract in the safe in his office and forgot the combination. What's wrong with sleepwalking? Ordinarily, nothing. But when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers the combination to the safe. I find him in the office, opening it, screaming like a cat in the oven, and slamming it again. Something about what's in there really scares him. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. How did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Fred drinks a lot of coffee. Me, I only drink decaf. I was just admiring your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't touch it. Are those xenophobe crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. They're so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom walls. Don't touch. Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not. I'll let you get back to what you are doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. <laughs> Thermodynamic flux induction circuit design is perhaps the most fascinating branch of practical electrical theory. Eh? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. I think I must have dozed off there for a minute. Well, you know what they say. If you want to save the world, you gotta push a few old ladies down the stairs. Hey, 
Hey, aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like, ding. Oh God, I hear it in my dreams till this day. That hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes. But then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon. Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a birdbath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. Are all your hobbies this fascinating? I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to happen to them... Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. He's reading the Wall Street Journal. Careful, you almost hit my stamps. Thermodynamic flux induction circuit design is perhaps the most fascinating branch of practical electrical theory. That's so boring, it almost put me to sleep. And I collect stamps. Pony Express stamps. Yes, not the most valuable kind, but they have a lot of sentimental value to me. Hey, don't touch my stamps. Hey, want to see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? Uh... My Pony Express dance. You ruined my 
pony for friends to have, not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room. Jeez, what a grump. He should really try to find some outlet for those... negative feelings. It looks like all the inks disappeared now. Hmm, a 1778 Pony Express general delivery stamp. Not too valuable, but it is uncancelled. Get out of here. It looks like all the inks disappeared now. Hey, you fixed it. I guess I can forgive you now. Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why. As if my body were being controlled by some demented, sadistic puppet master. Well, we all feel that way sometimes. It's not exactly the Ritz. No time for that now. I'm saving the world from Purple Tentacle. Wow, a pulley. By using a combination of flexible materials and a wheel, one may gain mechanical advantage by changing the direction of motion and the applied force. Hmm, a handle attached to a rotating shaft which transmits and modifies rotary motion and torque. There's no flag on it now because it's evening. Although limited to a low-pressure, sub-zero, nitrogen-free environment, the flux induction circuit can still be quite useful. Shut up, kid! This convention is dull enough without you trying to put me to sleep! The... Some people have no appreciation of the finer things. Although limited to a low-pressure, sub-zero, nitrogen-free environment, the flux induction circuit can still be quite useful. Man, guess you don't need sleeping pills if you got that around. Now go away, kid. You bother me. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. 
keep the crowbar. Thank you, masked man. Maybe this one. Drat. What sort of person would carry around this many keys? LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. I guess he's not interested. Favorite. A little sticky, but still worth ten cents. gave me one like this for my birthday. Ew, it's soaking wet. figure this is about $876,600 worth of quarters. Nineteen sixty-eight. Nineteen seventy-four. My grandma gave me one like this for my birthday. I figure this is about $876,600 worth of quarters. Thermodynamic flux induction circuit design is perhaps the most fascinating branch of practical electrical theory. Yikes, that's boring stuff. I'd yawn, but I'm too jacked on caffeine. 